For years, ambitious Scots were forced to leave for London or overseas to compete in the global market. Or to become what are known as willies, people who work in London but live in Edinburgh. But today, more Scots are pursuing high-flying careers at home and creating the Scottish industries of the future. Scotland is becoming a global force in computing. Around 70,000 Scots now work in the digital industries. Companies like Edinburgh-based Rockstar North are making Scotland a world leader in computer games. The latest edition of their Grand Theft Auto game smashed records to make $1 billion in just three days. For a new generation of Scottish entrepreneurs, all this means one thing, a massive opportunity. Investor Jamie Coleman is a man with a vision. He wants to help build new Scottish technology companies that have the potential to go global fast. When you think about the startup communities and what's really happening across the world, and clearly people think of Silicon Valley and so on, but the reality is that what we're building here um, are the new businesses, they are the new ways of working. Um, you know, when, you're, when your mammy told you that you should be a doctor or a lawyer, those days are over, okay? The growth and the jobs and the amazing new stuff is here. Jamie sees Scotland as a place where the really hard programming problems of the future are being solved. There are other places in the world that may be good at other stuff, but Scots are great at doing the big, hard, heavy lifting. When I think of the Industrial Revolution heritage of heavy engineering, um, in a way that's now moved into the software space. So our, the young people that are coming through here are building big, hard, heavy, as Americans would say, gnarly stuff. But they're doing it in software. To help kickstart the Scottish tech businesses of the future, Jamie has created a space in the heart of Edinburgh, Scotland's Silicon Valley. Two years ago, this 1960s office block was lying empty and facing possible demolition. Today, Jamie has transformed it into the biggest cluster of new technology companies in the UK. He calls it Codebase. We opened on the 1st of March. We've doubled in size since then. We're now the largest tech incubator in the UK. Uh, we've got uh, over 42 companies and about to be a whole lot more. There are over 300 people in with us and relatively young. The mean age is 27. Jamie assesses new companies who apply for space based on their potential for growth. What I'm interested in is helping to build, grow and really properly scale uh, the next billion dollar tech companies. The companies based here are all working with technology, but their products are very different. So these guys in here are called EO Surgical. They're practicing surgeons who are currently operating on patients. And in the evenings they come in and they've got a hardware software play that uh, monitors the mo fine-grained movements of surgical instruments. We've got Chelsea Apps Factory, Enterprise Class Mobile Apps. We've got e-commerce developers Get Square are in here. We've got Sodash.com, Zonefox is a security tool uh, which monitors people hacking into your networks and leaking information out of your networks. There's a huge amount of interest in how do you look at that. We just had a 500k extra investment into them in a few weeks ago and, uh, and hopefully that will allow them to really scale now that the Americans and, and other parts of the world are starting to work out what they've built. Many of these companies have a global reach and they attract talent from all over the world to Scotland. Having so many businesses together who, while they're, we're doing wildly different things, are all in similar places in their company's life cycle, it makes a huge difference. There is something inherently lonely about starting a company that very few people who aren't doing this can understand. Peekaboo's product should appeal to everyone. It could change the way that all of us use our phones. The general idea of what we build uh, and what we've got here is a system that we can train to look at stuff with a camera and remember what it is. We want to take 
passwords, which are a pain, and turn it into the simplest interaction possible. You can draw a picture on just about anything, like these cards here, and when you go to a website uh, to log in, you'd just be confronted, instead of a password field, you'd be able to take a picture, so something as simple and as random as this. It could be on a post-it note, sheet of A4, or even a photograph that you keep in your wallet, whatever it is, and you hold it up, um, and right away, it remembers who we are within about a second and uh, immediately gets you where you need to be. Incubators like this give companies like Peekaboo space to evolve, and they're helping to put Scotland on the technological map. What Scotland's got is this right mix of, of people and of resources and of passion for this kind of work that, that means that we have a real... We have the germ of a real community here around this digital revolution. It fits with that ethos of, of the changing world, of the way that uh, this engineering and old industries are being replaced by the new in a really fundamental way. Starting any new business is risky. For every success story, many others will fail. But Jamie's vision is more than a pipe dream. Just down the road is a massive Scottish success story that shows what's possible. Edinburgh-based flight comparison website, Skyscanner. 